Hey guys and welcome to a 1v1 between me and uh, negative Necrons versus Eldar on Tranquility's End. A very interesting game here. Negative will do 3 Dark Reaper mass with uh, Wraith Thumb Rush. So he will push me heavily into my base. And of course I will try to beat this. So on the top side, negative with Elda. Goes aspect portal and generator. Two guardians. And Dark Reaper Stone. On the bottom side, I am with Necrons, going full Scarab, two Necron Warriors, cheap start from me. Guardian squad ready. Guardian squad ready. And two Dark Reapers on the way here from negative with one guardian squad he will go to get this outer point which is a good idea with a dark reaper he will take this well there is really no reason to go with dark reapers in my base with one squad it won't be able to do anything here and it will get there quite late it's better just to take one point and when the second squad comes out, the both squads go at the same time. That way it's, they can uh, deal damage much more effectively. Also the fleet of food being activated. So he, he, so he will have also more map control if he, if he captures with uh, one Dark Reaper squad. He added one Dark Reaper in this squad. Adds one more here. No Exarch because they are way too expensive. Oh wait, this is the Exarch that he added. Very expensive choice but uh, this will deal more damage. All the Dark Reapers from the squad will deal more damage and also probably have more HP. Here he got my Necron Warriors trapped with this Dark Reaper. Two Dark Reapers, one already reinforced to five members. Of course this Necron Warrior will die. I sent them there only to win some time. And losing one Necron Warrior squad at the, at the, the very start, it's really bad. I didn't see this coming. Maybe he was going for fast tier 2, who know. So I, I checked, I tried to check with the Necron Warriors. And I lost them. 7 uh, generators from me. Built a turret here to defend this area. Oh, this area being protected by the turret. Seventh generator will soon be finished, so I will have plus 80 income. Upgrading the obelisk here. The uh, what is the third Dark Reaper squad? I don't really see it. It's uh, the fourth minute already. I have only. One Necron Warrior up, Necron Lord, Obelisk and Turret. Negative with full squads of Dark Reapers, two of them, two Generators and here is the third Dark Reaper, also the Wraith Thumb. Well, he made them quite late, but look at his map control. He took the map. He has good economy, he did not finish this, sadly, mistake there. 
and he will start the pressure soon, this is not a rush, this will be some pressure with good economy, full squads of Dark Reapers and Wraith Thumb. And I will be tier 1. I am building now one more turret. I was expect expecting something uh, risky coming into my base. Now this squad will get yeah, damaged by this LP2. Necron Lord lost half HP from two Dark Reaper squads. When the third one will come, it will be much worse. Here the pressure begins. I will try to go tier 2. I will try, but will I reach tier 2? Not sure. Necron Warriors and Necron Lord trying to destroy this listening shrine. And here we have on this side an expected engage with the Dark Reapers. I try to place the Forbidden Archive, of course I will not be able to build it here. It will be have to be cancelled. One turret gets stunned by this Wraith Tomb ability. That's a pain. Trying to keep Necron Lord alive, but look at this, one full squad of Dark Reapers focusing it. Also trying to reach tier 2, 70%. Will he bring another Bone Singer? Yeah, right now he is jumping. Here it is. And it seems that he will block... No, he blocked the turret. I thought he will block the monolith. Now he's building the webway gate. Ghost turret. Two turrets destroyed already. I simply wasn't prepared for this. And now I am in a very risky position, but I am tier 2. But so he is. He is tier 2 going for optics. He will have also the bunches. Three squads of Dark Reapers and bunches. One is... All no, this is a Gordian. So, how... What do I do to keep myself alive here? I only have the Necron Lord. Making a Wraith here with upgrade, but he won't be able to fight three Dark Reaper squads. He already killed two Dark Reapers. But anyways, there's three squads of them. Another shoot here. Disruption with the upgraded obelisk. Here are the bunches being on Overwatch. Armor upgrade. He already has the optics upgrade. Here I try to tie up two Dark Reaper squads with a Necron Lord and with a Wraith. This scarab gets out of my monolith while I distract this army here and I am trying to build a turret. He does not see me building it. If I build this turret and if I upgrade it, I still might have a chance. But Necron Lord now is dead. Putting the reinforce on my Necron Warrior squad. I need some army to win some time here. Now I only have these two Necron Warriors. And nothing else. Two turrets being built right now. And I still don't know how will I manage to survive here. Three squads of Dark Reapers, Bunches, Webway Gate. How do I survive that? Four minutes until taken hold Call of War research for the Bunches now, they will become even more dangerous. Global upgrade, huge economy on Elder side, plus 126 to 40, and only 87 for me. Well, that's not bad, but compared to Elder's economy, my economy is much worse. Now he used the Wraith Time on the Monolith, but I finished two turrets now and upgraded them. Negative also builds a turret here, he will probably upgrade. 
Finally, the Necron Lord somehow got reproduced again. I finished the Forbidden Archive. So I gave him the artifacts. The Phylactery, of course, the Phase Shift and probably the Solar Pules will be given. That's uh, the best option against Elder and Toy Empire. Against other races you can go for the Lightning Field instead of Solar Pules. Also a good artifact. Ten minutes into the game, and seems like about 20 more to be played. And how do I get out of this mess on only one obelisk? Two obelisks, two strategic points for me. And from army only the Necron Lord with the Wraith. Of course Solar Pules researched and will be casted right here. Wraith will deal with this Wraith Tom because it's repairing, I need to kill it before destroying this, otherwise it will take too much time. Bunches will hunt the Wraiths of course, Bunch is dealing with the Wraiths easily, even with the fleet of foot activated. Immortal squad is out, now I can destroy this web base easily. Two more minutes until take and hold victory. I need to decap this point or this one. And I will do that with this Wraith. Coming out so slowly. Because I have only 30% speed. Only two obelisks. Very good pressure from negative so far. He keeps me on two obelisks. One strategic point and relic. While he has all the other map. We are taking and more army, of course. Going with this wraith to decap here. I am having three upgraded turrets right now. This is already some good defensive force here. Defending position. He almost destroyed one more of my generators, but I saved it with the solar pules. And now the destroyer is out. The problem now is that uh, negative economy is much higher, he also floats a bit. But he is on the way to tier 3 anyway. My economy is plus 112. Well, this is not bad at all. This is in fact some good economy already. I researched the global upgrade, but still my army is much more weaker than negative's one. The problem for negative is that he does not have anti-vehicle, and I have two destroyers. With the destroyers I will be able to fight these bunches. Sadly the bunches can uh, kill these wraiths easily. Well, at least uh, the wraith can activate this phase so he doesn't receive damage for a while but look how fast he got killed immortals alive there I am placing the second monolith of course I need more production that means at least two production buildings trying to win some time here to distract negatives army immortals here Will they destroy this? I don't remember. Again, trying to decap this, but probably will not succeed. Still no anti-vehicle from negative. He has the fire dragons. That's some nice anti-vehicle, but Necron Lord can tie them up. Will he kill this? Yeah, he destroys one of my destroyers. Here I, tr I am repairing the wraith. He was very low HP. Almost finished the second monolith. I, so I should think about going tier 3. My economy is quite good. I am keep building the generators. Making immortals again and two more wraiths in the main monolith. But I think I will cancel because I need tier 3. Incoming enemy fire. 
Negative is already tier 3. His army is still huge, I cannot deal with it with only Necro Lord and a Wraith. With these units I can only win some time. Necro Lord got surrounded here, he cannot move. Activated phase shift at the last second to keep him alive. And I will teleport soon, I guess. And again, no anti-vehicle here from negative. That's one of his mistakes. He went with this anti-vehicle on the other side, while my destroyers were here. Well, here I had two immortal squads, wraiths, so he couldn't do anything with this. He already has... Uh, Seems like all the global upgrades, this is the last one he makes. And this he tier 4, probably not yet. He goes for the last generator. And we'll try to attack from this side now. Well, now I have uh, 4 obelisks, that's mm, a lot more speed for me. A lot more production speed, more uh, pop cap and vehicle cap. Trying to finish this turret here under this fire of Elda. Yeah, blinding them with the solar pulse again. Well, my destroyers stay from here and shoot safely behind the turrets. Focusing now this uh, Wraith Lord with the turret. He seemed like a threat. Lots of wraiths here, they will deal with a Dark Reaper. Or maybe not, because uh, too many bunches are around. With Immortal Squad, one Immortal Squad got killed, but I destroyed one Wraith Lord. I am tier 3, finally. Going instantly for the second global upgrade. Still one more Wraith Lord here. Hmm, a little freeze. Sorry for that. Necron Lord got killed by the way, but I reproduce it again. Victory countdown. My economy plus 136, it will be about 160 or 150 after the global upgrade. I think it will be 165 or something. And placing the tier 4. Yeah, plus 163 income, that's very good now. While negative's economy is Plus 170, and I harassed his economy a bit with the wraiths. Decapping the... the decap this point, decap some critical locations. This one and this. He is still with the bunches, dark reapers, two squads of dark reapers. And it seems like... We'll have a uh, tier 4 game here, some tier 4 battles. Yeah, he is almost tier 4. We, we reached tier 4 basically at the same time. I was a bit faster because um, the energy core builds faster. But now he can go for the avatar. He made the LP3 for more resources. It's your council hill uh, here. Trying to destroy the obelisk. So he distracts my army in there while he will try to attack with the rest of his army on this side. Not bad. Prism aspect stone was made, he will go for fire prism. Good vehicles. But I go for the monolith already. So I will have the monolith faster than he will have a fire prism it seems. Yeah, 
50% monolith and only 30% for the fire freeze. Well, the middle game was very intense. Managing to fight this uh, Seer Council back here with the destroyers and the flayed ones. Still uh, winning time here with the Necron Lord. But the Monolith now is ready. Well, the Monolith alone it cannot really do much. Of course, it, de it deals lots of damage, but it can be destroyed easily if you are not careful. So I will have to keep it slowly and from range. This is one of two games I played with negative um, in 2016. Very intense games. I will uh, post the other one as well. The pressure was real with his Dark Reapers. And the worst thing is that I could not uh, see it coming. I didn't see it coming, I wasn't prepared at all. But somehow I managed to survive to tier 4. So never give up when playing and uh, being in such a situation. Keep trying. Your enemy might even relax at some point. I think he won it already, but if you will keep trying, you can win. We are taking damage. Tier 4 battle right here. Lots of Elder Infantry. Fire Prism. Two Fire Prism vehicles, he goes on the other side. He went probably to engage here. Not really many defenses except this turret. I will have to cancel this. Will I? Yeah, I cancelled it before the fire prison was shooting. And I'm making the Lord Destroyers. I am sorry for these FPS drops, by the way. I know it's quite laggy. Well, old, old uh, PC. Here with the Deceiver I managed to steal lots of Elder Dark Reaper and two squads of Banshees. Also was stolen one Fire Prism. Well, the magic of tier 4 Necrons. Do not mess with it. Huge comebacks can be made with the help of these skills of the Deceiver, the Lord Destroyers. It's really the game-changing units in the late game. It can be extremely annoying for the enemy, of course. But that's all for uh, the pain that Necron received at the start. Wraiths here again trying to destroy Elder Economy while I fight here with the Monoliths, Fire Prism, Destroyers. Avatar here. Will he manage to destroy this Monolith? It has lots of HP. 15,000 HP. That's a lot. 1500, I'm sorry. No, 15,000. Well, yeah, the Monolith is almost down. Periax came out too late. Necron Lord with a phase shift got disrupted away. He did not cover the Monolith at all. Well, my economy, look at it. The incoming is still about uh, plus 150. I can make the second Monolith easily. We are taking Negative's economy is not that high as mine, although he has very good income, but he does not have any reserves. He keeps reinforcing his units, very expensive ones.
this Illusory Monolith is still alive here, well, it's impossible to delete it. It does not deal any damage anyway, but it disrupts the units. Now I put it on, on stop, yeah. Because it's... I don't know if that's a bug, but... Do not look abusive, just uh, do not use it and... Leave it on stop stance. Second monolith on the way now. Second restored monolith. I have two fire prism full HP almost. Two destroyer spare yes, Necron Lord. Well that's some serious army. And I can imagine how annoying it can be for Eldar to have these tier 4 units stolen. Well, making such mistakes in tier 4 versus Necrons is not forgiving. GG! Really intense game here. And he asks for a match. I agree, and uh, the next game I will be uploaded is very much. So stay tuned. I hope you like this game. Let's look at the score. On the military, even the units killed quite close, negative kills a bit more. We almost destroyed same amount of buildings, negative again destroys one building more. That probably was an obelisk. On resources, it shows me winning, but I think the resource was uh, quite equal. Negative uh, had very good map control until the middle game. He had global upgrades, uh, listening post upgrades, his economy was very good. And on technology, lots of upgrades for uh, negative again, research count 16, unit upgrades 3, and reinforced units 90. That's a lot of resources for Elda. That's why he was running out of resources by the end, while I had over 1000 reserve. Well, so that's it with this game. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe if you are new, and I hope to see you next time. Thank you for watching.